Hey everybody, Spoonie Mans here for Will of the Force playing Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic and this is Felix Lightsider. So we are on the light side thing. Uh, last episode we went to a cantina, spoke to some Jawas or whatevers, and now we're at the Beck base, which is supposedly hidden, but not entirely so. So here we go. Hello. Oh, he's a hidden Beck. Ooh. Yeah. I can't believe it either. What were we talking about? Can I just take s oh hey, there we go. Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm uh. down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too yes, plus I'm light side. So. And his Vulcans want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want mm. us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Vulcans do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want. Wow, you turned you quick. You, you try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulcar Spy. Vulcar Spy. <laughs> That's such a nice little thing. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Bredrick and the Vulcars began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems yeah. with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? Well, uh, I need information on those Republic escape pods that crashed in the Undercity. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the Upper City about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. She always cries spies. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. Um. Uh, I am not working for the Sith. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas. And that's okay in my book. The Vulcans stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcans found. A female Republic officer named <gasps> survived the crash. Gotta get her. The don't believe in intergalactic slavery. But the Vulcans aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. How could they take a Jedi prisoner? Normally, the Vulcans would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer Seriously, she's the Jedi. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Yeah. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape. If only you would shut dead. up, then she's maybe. Now you will leave with the Vulcan <laughs> scum at the base. Regic's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. Swoop race? You'll never find her. Swoop race? Swoop race? What does that have to do with anything? I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Regic's game to take over the lower city. Yeah. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual Swoop Gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. But we're swooping, the buddy. The we of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the Swoop race. Swoop? How do I enter it? Gaden. Gaden. Can you help me with this? I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here. And much to lose. Oh god. What are you proposing? The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hidden Bex this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. Okay. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulcans stole the prototype from us. Those they bastards. They to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. Double bastards. Break into their base and steal it back. Hmm. Getting into the Vulcan base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. <laughs> but I know someone who Mission Veil. I just saw her not too well. Uh... Mission Veil. Mission Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? With a large Wookiee behind her. Every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. Uh, 
Where can I find mission? She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the Undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith guard post at the elevator. <laughs> I've got Sith uniforms, buddy. I can... I, yeah. I got past the Upper City Guard. No problem. A simple disguise might have worked on the Upper City Guard. But the security down here is much tougher. You'll need ah, to son of a to poop. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together, uh -huh. now, I suppose I could get them in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Uh, you, you know what? Okay, I'll try you. What do you want with the Sith uniforms? I like to be prepared. I only got Eventually, one. Eventually, the Sith are going to try to drive us out of the Undercity. Sith disguises might give my people the edge we need in a crucial battle. Uh, uh -huh. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Uh, is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, I would like you to. I would. I, I want to ask you some questions. Your time would probably be better spent going after the prototype swoop engine the Vulcan stole from us. But I'll answer your questions if I can. What's up with your? <laughs> <laughs> you sold me. Uh, you said you were having problems. Where can I find my wives? Project and the vocals at war with you. Is there any way off this planet? I yeah. suggest you hurry. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. Oh yeah, practice would be uh, quite quite the thing to do, wouldn't it? That's eh, locked. All right, so I got to go to the Undercity, Undercity, Under Undercity. Gosh, everything's locked. Ah, here we go. Exploration. Pooch, 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 pooch. Did I get them all? Yes, I did. There. Where is the music coming from? Seems like it just comes out of the walls. Pooch, 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 pooch. Study futuristic mu music from uh, holy crap era. Disco is not dead. It's become thump thump music. Ah, that's a security door too. Thank you for telling me. All right, so let's let's get the heck out of here. Maybe we'll find some combat in this episode. I have no idea. All right. So let's go this way. Oh, Jeebus. Kill. Aha. Kill, 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 kill. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, you want some of this? Want some of this? Oh, oh, hit the hammerhead guy. Oh no. He's close. Oh, I missed. Kill, 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 kill. Yeah. Who's your daddy now, mister? Dead guy. Oh, no. Black Volkers. What are you guys doing? You guys with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? Karadumpa kunpa yiyamoka paata. Bonanai kachu. Yinkin kun. He'll kill you all. He's got that. Ah, so you want to play this the hard way? <laughs> okay. Holy crap, man! You see that gun? Bad gun. Why did he suddenly break out in Twi'lek? Why did he said? Is this a glitch? Please tell me. I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candrus. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Ah, uh, Candorous. That sounds very cool. Can I talk to you, Candorous Ordo? Those Valkers are dumber than a Coruscant granite slug. 
They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Vex in line. You have, sir, dreams of grandeur, the smoothest forehead I have ever seen. That young punk back down. Uh, who the heck are you? I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. Oh yeah? What's what's the assignment? Excuse me. Still have questions, sir. Oh, lower city apartments. Do we go that way? Hmm. Sure, it's along the way. Let's just do it. Hey! It's that guy who likes to count. We don't talk to him. Yeah, he counts. And God help you if he gets to three. There's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. That's the plan. Oh, God. Well, good job. He looked at me. Did you see that? He looked at me. Why are we here? Is there something here that we need to do? Uh, we have some bounties. All right, so we got that. Close. Return state's evidence against Savik in the exchange. There's an official government bounty on a woman named Siev. She is a known assassin. There is no lead. Merchant named Largo owes large sum. I'm not doing these two. Oh god! Kill! Okay, just shoot, 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 shoot. Hey, you want to get in this too? Yes. Alright, well, good for you. That hurt, I bet. Kill, 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 kill. Why am I doing all the killing? Karth! Wake up, buddy! Remains. Nope, no remains. Okay. Let's go back here. Ah, oh, God! Ow. Hey, hey, does anybody... I, I'm looking for the bathroom. Yeah, this is gonna suck. Uh, concussion grenade. There. Did that do anything? Well, everything's bouncing off him. Is there another one? Holy crap moly. Poison grenade, poison grenade. Not him, you ninny. Oh, maybe. Maybe we should get in. Let's just get in. Kill him. It's not hard. Thank you. Hey, we leveled Karth up. Please, vocal shock stick energy in a combat suit. Ah, uh, why would you show me a case that I couldn't get to? Armor reinforcement. All right. Uh -huh. What? Oh, oh, wait. No, 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 no. There we go. I actually want to. Uh, can I, can I, can I please? I don't know how. I want to equip. How do I, how do I do? Uh -huh. Oh, I need to find a uh, workbench. Okay, well, I don't have a workbench. But what I do have is stuff. Hey, let's do this. <laughs> okay, so Karth leveled up. I'm just gonna auto level him because why not? Yeah. All right, there. Yes. Now Karth is more a badass than anything. What is this? Can I recover mine? Don't blow up! 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 Skill to load. Yeah, 
Hey! Booyah! Adrenaline advanced health pack. Cool. Nothing else? You monkey. Alright. Let's see. These guys came out of nowhere. Actually, no, they came from the uh, that side here. Uh, items. There we go. It's not what I wanted, but hey, whatever. What? All right. Let's continue on this way. It's served us very well so far. Ah! 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 Uh, sniper that guy. Sniper him again. It's not happening. Okay, well, that's good. No, I don't want to talk to you. Never mind. Don't talk to me, I'll shoot you. <laughs> Ed pack, parts, items, credits, Karth, remains. Frag grenade, thank god. Ah! Ah! Frag it! Boom! <laughs> Suck it, dude. Just eat it. Right, where's the stuff? I, I saw it. I saw it. Alright, well. Guess not. Ooh. Another one of these. Uh, this is an electronic personal message center through it. Looks like it hasn't been used in some time. There is one unread message. Hey, Elm. How's life on Taurus? I heard your brother left Tatooine to become a miner. Did he at least leave Hyperdrive behind to keep you company? Huh? I hope you've, you're have you still practicing with that blaster I gave you. Remember that what I taught you, because you might need it. Terrace is like Alderaan. It must be dangerous there. Stay away from those swoop gangs, and keep something locked up in that old strong box. Nobody's going to be busting into that thing. Hope you hear. Hope to hear from you too, Uncle Louie. Thank God, it's not a Star Wars name. Disable. <laughs> Explosions, death, dismember. No problem. I can. Didn't work. Please. No problem. Didn't work. No problem. Come on. No problem. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. Didn't work. All right. Well. Ready. What about you, Karth? You got any uh, sort of stuff? On it. Damn. Yes. Okay. Well. Good luck, Karth. Proud of you. God. Yeah. A box that I can't get into. It's like it's like the middle finger in a video game. That and the middle finger is like the middle finger in a video game. What are these? Are they numbers? Hello. Sniper. Aha! Stun ya. I get bonuses. Because I'm a smith or straw or whatever the heck it's called. A, uh, uh, scoundrel. I'm a scoundrel. I'm Han Solo, but with better hair. Not sure where I went with that, but I'm doing that. Alright, well, that was fun. Let's go this way. Is this the way we went? Is this the way we want to go? Yes. I see the Sith guy and these guys. Look at that. Good night. Sweet prince. Kill, 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 kill. Uh, there's another one. Yeah, kill him. Shoot him in the neck. Remember, you can use rapid transit systems to return to your base. On the mask room, you will see a button that says return to hideout. Press this button. Ah! Oh, well, geez, we might just do that because I got a workbench there. Blaster turret. Oh. Yes. Hey, I got papers. Got it. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. Um, I got my security papers ready. I'm not here to answer your questions. My orders are to guard the elevator. 
Now either show me the proper security papers or move along. Hmm. Okay. Let me see. Uh, yeah, these look to be in order. Okay, you can go down if you want. Can't say I envy you though. The Undercity is crawling with mutants. Rack goals, they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. That's not my style, man. I usually ask questions before I start shooting. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to return to hideout. Right? Yeah, screw it. Let's just go. <laughs> you Hi. There, upworlder. Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Why you this gotta be talking elevator. like that? You use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Can shoot them. Oh wait, credits. that's not. Yeah. That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits. Five credits. What are you doing here in the Undercity? We are the outcasts, banished and reviled by those who dwell above. Here in the filth and darkness, we claw out a wretched existence, scavenging and begging just to survive long enough to see another wretched day. This is our village. We live here in the Undercity. You have to pay us five credits for using our elevator. Man, you poor wretches. Here's 20. Buy some food and clothing. <laughs> credits, my brother! We have credits. Now we can buy food and medicine. Hush, or the others will hear us. They'll want our credits. We have to hide them. Go Put on, them in your butt! Get out of here. I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. You have I'm one sure tooth. You are, man. <laughs> it's just right too there. Bad your little welcoming committee is here to give you people. You can't say it because I don't have face cam. My name is Felix Lightsider. Who are you? My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I'm Zoom in right on the Phoenix. tooth. I was born right here there. in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? Oh, it's better than festering slack. I don't have. The surface is a beautiful place. I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see they it in my dreams. They have dental. The sun, the sky, <laughs> the stars. It all sounds so, so, so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But eh. when I was little... Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Rukil? Who is that? Rukil is the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He beats the he crap out of all of them. Stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the promised land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. Uh, what is the promised land? It's... It's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess the truth is ugly. What we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the promised land, at least you don't have to mow the yard. Rukil. You know, it's all rock. Where can I find Rukil? He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. He's over 100 years old. The Jesus Christ, he's old. People think he's crazy because of his stories about the promised land, but he's really just a kind old man. Uh, why are you asking that again, Felix? Do you have a head injury. Either that or that hairspray is just keeping everything locked too damn tight. Where can I find Grindar? He's somewhere in the village. I couldn't say where for sure. He's always busy doing whatever he can to make the lives of the other villagers easier. Do you know anything about the escape pods that crashed into the Undercity? I don't know anything about that, but maybe Gendar could help you. Sorry. Is there anything else you need? I'll take my 20 credits back. There were quite a few people from the surface marching through the village, but none of them bothered to talk to me. Gendar might know more about them. Um, do you know anything about the escape... <laughs> I already asked that. Tell me about the village. I was born here for starters. My parents were outcasts, banished to the Undercity for some crime or other. They never really liked to talk about it. Everyone here is an outcast. Or 
the descendants of one. It's tough down here, but we survive. I guess it's easier for me since I've never known anything different. Some of the people have given up all hope. They've become bitter and depressed, but most of us are good people, despite what our ancestors may have done. Gendar could probably tell you more, or maybe Rukil. You could talk to them if you want. Okay, well, I'll be going now. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. Can I just give you a hug? I'll just give you a hug. Light sight points. Hey, look at me. I'm a light sight pointed. All right. What do you got here? What do you got here? You got. What do you got? Uh, outcast healer? Wait, Upwelder. You can't go through this gate. There is too much danger and suffering beyond. For your own sake, turn back. Uh, danger and suffering? What are you talking about? The villagers infected with the Rukgor disease are quarantined beyond this gate. It's only a matter of time until they transform into horrible creatures that would destroy us all. So you just lock them away in a cage? For the Zombies? sake of the village, we have to keep the infected ones locked away. And when they finally do transform into rock ghouls, we'll let them destroy each other. There must be something we can do. Something someone can do. Nothing can be done for the infected villagers. Even the serum to counteract the rat ghoul disease wouldn't be any use now. Nobody would be foolish enough to risk going into the pens to give them the cure. The infected ones could transform into rat ghouls and attack them at any moment. Mm, so you're just going to leave the infected ones to die. I'm going to go through this case to try and help you. Uh, I want to ask if you some you questions. If you questions, you should speak to Gendar. He's the leader of this village. All my attention has to stay focused on trying to ease the suffering of those within the village. But despite yeah. my medical Put training, there's nothing I can do to help the poor souls locked on the other side of this gate. Okay, well, I'll uh, go away so now. Well. Okay, so... Oh, crap. Journal! Quest. Alright. There was a quest about the, uh... What was it? No, 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 no. Yeah, the Rakul Serum. Sith Underground Patrol Cyber Gurney, is it? Ah, okay. So, Sith Under City Patrols. Okay, so I need to find a Sith Under City Patrols. Okay. So, yes. Yes, yes, and yes. Rukiel! Hey, you must be Rukiel of Wrinkle Skins. You, you come from the world above. Is this the time of destiny, then? Is uh -huh. this a portent of the salvation of my people? You bet your ass. Merely another false sign to mislead us from the path. Could Are be. you the herald of prophecy? The beacon to guide us through the dark. You ask a lot of questions, Are sir. Are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? I've heard it both ways. So be crazy enough to be dangerous. Why are you talking to the Lord? <laughs> Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation. Speak, Upworlder. I beg you. I am Spoony Mass. What are you talking about, old man? Question. You are uncertain. Bewildered, perplexed. Understandable, I suppose. Even after a hundred years of life, I myself still become confused at times. Perhaps Sometimes more than times others times. Sometimes what did I say? I just pooped myself. My name is Rukil, the oldest outcast here in the village. Rukil Wrinkleskin, the children call me sometimes. <laughs> I just beat him over the head with a bottle. I'm Felix Lysa. What do you want from me, Rukil? Once I was honored for my wisdom. But over time, the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me. And now she is gone, too. The truth? What happened to your apprentice? My apprentice is lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... Well, I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder, will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the... It's kind of what I do, man. It's kind of what I do. Her is Malia. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she found. I will help you with this, Rekel. Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity. But if you will find her... I will know you to be our true savior. Only then can I reveal my secret knowledge to you. This is how you make a coke. I'll be back if I find out anything. I wish you luck, Upworlder. 
come speak to me again once you This is the secret the recipe of, of Coca-Cola. Hey, Gendar. You just this is right across from the street from the old guy. Greetings, it's insane. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. You have the greatest voice ever. So many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. Uh... You said something about other upworlders who came up here recently. Our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. Ah, uh, I'm looking for a Twi'lek named Mission Veil. Vale. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. How can I get to the sewers? There are two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. One to the northeast of our village, the other to the southeast. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. If you of course they are. Dark tunnels, Why would they not be? It would be wise to go heavily armed, unless you wish to become a meal for the rock ghouls and the other foul creatures. Okay. Ask your questions, Upworlder. I will answer to the best of my knowledge, though I know little beyond the borders of the Undercity. How do you shave your face like that? The Rakuls are monsters, hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. They sound like zombies. Can infect those they attack, transform Freaking them zombies. Into one of those abominations. Zombies. No cure for the disease, and for the good of the village. Bullet in the head. Blaster bolt in the head. Lest they transform and turn on us. I want to ask you a few more questions. Ask your questions, Upworlder. I will. Shut your face. <laughs> who are your people? You people. Why do you? Uh, Okay, I think I'll be going. As you wish, Upworlder. Should you have need of anything else, come speak to me. I represent the entire village, and I will do my best to help you however I can. Alright, guys, I think that is my time in Star Wars here. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, great. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching, and uh, until next time, this is Spoonie Mass for Will of the Force.